Hey, it's Kat with Geeks in the Garden, and I'm putting together this little um, video because on this week's episode, I talked about some garden art, and I wanted to show you uh, it because I described it, but I think you need to see it um, instead. So, first off, you're going to hear me crunching through some leaves, which makes me really happy. So, um, here we go. Crunch, crunch. First, this week, we did talk about gnomes, the history of gnomes, and here's one of my little guys. This is the traditional looking gnome. We also have this little fellow who's just, you know, more of a, I guess, I don't know, more little faux distress looking guy. So, uh, no need to be distressed little guy. Nobody's going to gnome nap you. Here is my nerdy sign. As I mentioned in the show, these are individual fence pickets that I use. You can also use any scrap wood that you have hanging around. I just like the fence pickets because they already had sort of the arrow shape um, here at the end of it. So as you can see, I tried to match the fonts from the different shows that I have here, uh, different books, and you could do that at any of those free font. Just Google free font and then some variation. Uh, they don't have, obviously for copyright reasons, uh, where you could type in Lord of the Rings and get the one that you want. Uh, it's usually some variation of it. So just be clever and you can get the font that you want. I also did little iconic uh, imagery from each one too and that's just me it made me happy like I said um, it's a nice little conversation piece it was part of the garden that I was redoing this bed anyway and it was a nice pandemic project for us to work on I'm going to show you other examples so you can get some ideas and I'll show you some photos of the process that I did to put these together here you'll see the signs as I was getting ready to get them cut at the hardware store here is like the first coating uh, with the decorative paint. Here you see some of them as I completed them. And again, doing some uh, paint finishing on this one. I thought I'd show you some examples. Uh, you can also find some more on the internet. Different ways that um, people have used these directional signs to just, you know, have some fun in their garden. Uh, showcase some fandoms and or um, just favorite places to visit, places that have meaning to them. So um, we're not traveling much during this pandemic, so it certainly is a fun way to dream about when we can freely travel again. Last but not least, I don't think there's many people who like really adore gardening that also don't love reading. And we were talking about um, garden art. One of the things you can put together is something that kind of gives tribute to both. This is and another pandemic project we put together. It was an upcycled IKEA metal box. I know you've seen these little free libraries, the sharing libraries, and uh, you get these little placards with your number on it, and then you get put in the um, map so everybody can find your little free library. I did not go with the conventional wooden one. Um, just number one, I already, I love the idea of upcycling. I already had this little Ikea guy. It's kind of like a locker. It's also metal, so it's very sealed up. I don't have to worry about the wood rotting. Um, it just works for us right now. These are books that um, people dropped off. Uh, we have all sorts of um, books in there, which is the whole point of it. You take a book, you leave a book, and it's another pandemic project and garden art that kind of makes me happy.